and, and do say things and have arguments about. Meanwhile, we're just we're, we're just positive. We're talking sport. And we're positive, especially with our man TMG Twiddles McCann. Let's be positive. Just stop right there. No negativity. Let's be positive. LBP. LBP. Let's be positive. Maddie, welcome back, my friend. Doctor appointment all went well. I just had just a usual blood test, Martin. Diabetic, type yep. one diabetic, twenty five yep. years now. I'm there about six times a year. They call you up all the time. Oh, you got a blood test? Actually, they text you now. Oh, you yeah. know the personal touch with yep. the doctors. Come in and get a test. Oof. So no, no, just a normal test. Can't you do it I yourself? You jab yourself every bloody day, mate. Yeah, but can't you jab yourself with one of those? Why don't they just give you a little kit and do you do your own blood test, mate? Oh, no, I'm not sticking it in my own vein. The wife did it for a while. She was a uh, phlebotomist in Auckland for a while. But no, I mean, yeah, you've got to go. And then a week later, they ring you and, and go mad on you because the results aren't what they think. But, you know, at my age, yeah, I'm not too worried about it. If you know what I mean. But anyway, we'll be all right. Resurrection we'll right. Distillery last is on, on Facebook. Last week on the radio, Martin. Very What's exciting that? to be here for the last day of uh, 2022, and it's been an absolute pleasure. A lot of laughs this year, I think. Yeah. I love, I've been, I, honestly, I was thinking about it the other day. Look, this time last year, mate, and we've worked together a couple of times before, obviously, um, but this time last year, I was thinking at this particular time last year, you know, what had happened and what I'd you know, done and gone through and everything else, I never thought that I'd be sitting here at this stage of the year, December the next year, having worked for, I think we've been here 30-something weeks. We put about 1,000 or 1,200 interviews to air. We've had a lot of fun doing it. Um, and you're just sitting there thinking, wow, mate, I mean, as low as you can go in your life, it can turn around on you. Um, I've been very, very lucky, mate. I've had a lot of love, a lot of love from people like yourself, so thank you. Oh, not a problem at all, and uh, happy to be here, Martin. And as I said to you when you rang me up about the platform, uh, it'd be a pleasure to uh, join you on the program. And I was, uh, I was as happy as anyone else in the country to see it happen. So it's been an absolute delight. Now I think that I think that your relationship with Lachlan has grown very deep this year, and I think that uh, I've been in his position. I think he's handled it well. <laughs> I got a text from the old mate Shunter the other day. He said he's listening out of Australia, and he said, "The thing I like is he said you've been yelling at us, the producers, for the last twenty years, and nothing's changed, mate." Mm, exactly. Exactly. It strengthens one for the future. That's what I'd say to Lachlan. You'll be better for it later on. And is he going to be around with Telstra next week yeah, or two? Yes, yeah, yes, My mate. goodness. Yeah. Let's hope he doesn't become Glenn Lama in the time you're oh, away. Oh, good God. When Lama, this is radio oh. sport, we're talking about Lama and Telfer. They were a happy married couple for a good 15 years, weren't they? That's right. Oh, weren't they ever? Oh, yeah. they were two peas in a pod. Yeah. Hey, look, Socceroos, mate. Yeah, the end of summer peas, not the start of summer peas. Yeah, I know. Socceroos. The dried-up old gnarly peas, the powdery peas at the end of the season. Socceroos against the Arge. Um, and, look, when a team's going to get over this goddamn BS obsession with passing the ball backwards to the goalkeeper, the reason the guy's in goal is because he's no good with his feet. Why are you passing him the ball? That second goal cost you big time because I actually thought that the Argies were a bit nervous. I mean, you played well, Australia. Good account for yourselves. Put all that aside. You could have won that game. Martin, that moment, uh, I, could, I, foresaw, I foresaw it. I knew it was coming. We just continually passed it back into our own box. I thought all it's going to take is one missed step, one missed touch, and they'll score from this. And the pressure was on. Two argies in the box. He's mucking around with it, yeah. and bingo. Dang it's it. exactly right. what happened. And that was really the difference in the game because as much as they – looked very good, and they dominated the game, the Archies. There's no doubt about it. Um, they couldn't keep putting it in the back of the net. And the Messi goal, well, I mean, what do you say about that? That was excellent. Yeah, well, that means, uh, yeah. A quick touch, a prop, yeah. and he put it in. I mean, not many keepers are going to stop that. But that second goal, i tell you what happened. I, I actually threw me phone. I was, I was laying in bed Sunday morning. I threw me phone, I, and I, I just yelled, that's it, and um, woke up my wife. I stormed out, and then I thought, no, look, I can't leave it there. So so I, 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 I connected again, and I started watching the second half, and here we come again, and two more excellent chances yes. towards the end of yeah. that game. Two more excellent chances. Then the first shot blocked was, um, was, a, very, was a very good save by the... Uh, the defender. Oh, the back, can't yeah. who it was. No, I can tell and you who it was. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was Lissandro Martinez because he's the Man United guy and he slid across. He did. Uh, yeah, yeah, but that yeah. seconds that to go, second, yeah. That, oh. That attempt with seconds to go, honestly, I was shaking. I was shaking for about 
half an hour or 40 minutes after that game, just thinking to myself, just a stupid back pass to the keeper yeah. who cocked it up and the pressure that we were able to mount in the last 15 minutes and seven minutes of extra time. Yeah, it's nervy. Oh, nervy. it's just a missed chance, isn't it? That That is a moment that, um, that Ryan will never forget. Like, that doesn't leave as a player... I don't know how you No, you get haunted by that. Yeah. I tell you what, the other thing that happened, which was absolutely brilliant, and this is a moment that he's going to remember for the rest of his life. Cousin Cameron Devlin, this is, he did the Devlin, mate. This is beautiful. Didn't play, was on the subs bench. As soon as the final whistle goes, he runs straight for Messi and swaps his shirt with him. So all the guys that actually played and got sweaty, they had to get Messi's shirt. Devlin got the shirt, mate. How's that? Oh, I, actually, I actually thought that was brilliant, eh? I read that this morning. I thought, is there a connection? Yeah. Is there a connection? Yeah, mate, always. Oh, look, unbelievable. Look, that, that you know, Argentina um, will probably take this further than the Aussies would have. Who knows? But that was just devastating. You know, that is what football does, isn't it? I spoke the other week to you about being able to defend well and then only needing that opportunity yeah. for fast break to score. Yeah, mate. yeah. And, you know, we actually could have been in that position. Um, so I, I, I see, I see a decent future for Australia. Yeah, look, if they get enough games, yeah. that's this, this series of Socceroos now. Yeah, I mean they could be better than our um, twenty oh six side. Yeah, the golden generation they called that. Yeah, which, 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 and, and what, I think it was something crazy like um, Jura told us Andrew Durante last week. There was something like twenty of the of the squad were A League players. This and these Test series, though, mate. I mean, come on. I mean, you might as well actually put your under eighteens out there. I tried to watch some from Perth. That wasn't fair, mate. Hey. Eh? No, 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 no. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's fair or unfair or whatever else, but it's not worth paying for. No, it's not. Is it? No, no. no. You know, I mean, what? You know, what's what's happened to the West Indies? Well, they don't give us stuff kid, about They were just mate. one of the greatest sides ever. They were menacing. They were tough. And, you know, we've seen a little bit of success from them in the 2020 and the one-day game. But uh, in terms of the test side, uh, it's not the series. Is, the series is a waste of space. Yeah, yeah. The series is a waste of space. Yeah. I'm... I mean, if we... Well, what, what can you see from them? 